need to update my phone book. It says, I'm seeing these IP addresses out there floating around, and I need to know what MAC ID is associated with those IP addresses so I know how to send data to somebody. So Ethernet devices have this thing called an ARP table in them, and the ARP table is nothing more than the telephone book that says, this MAC ID is associated with this IP address. But if you change IP addresses on devices, you need to be able to update the telephone book for the device. But that's how they're all talking in MAC IDs. So, is this one making sense so far? Okay? Randy, so even though you give something a static IP address, the, the, the MAC address is what this managed switch is used? That, that is correct. That is correct. You're defining your network, mm -hmm. what your network addressing scheme is going to be through the TCP IP addressing. Mm -hmm. But the actual devices themselves have those MAC IDs and the switches have that ARP table mm -hmm. and they're looking at the MAC ID of the device that they need to uh, have a conversation with. Is that, is, is that including that drives and other things? Yes. Too, that are using the MAC address Yes. Too? Yes. Even though you give them a static address? Yes. Yes, You're, that's that's what 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 the, what the IP address does is is allows it to call yourselves common family names. Think of it that way. We all belong to the same family, so we have a common family name, and you know, so it can all be Bill, George, Bob, Sue, Harry, you know, within that within that family name, and I can identify that because that helps me understand where I'm sending data to and where it's coming from and so forth. But under the hood, there's a telephone book that says.